hi everyone so god today is saying that something that was buried is coming to life it is coming again to life so i remember like four years ago i had given up on my dreams i had given up on myself i'd given up on my purpose because i felt like everything that i was trying to do it was not working out i'd accepted my fate that i was going to be a bin counter forever so i was in the accounting field so i accepted my fate that i should just become comfortable this is how i'm going to retire where i'm going to retire that uh no purpose in life my purpose is just to go to work come back and serve my family that's it but then god transformed me and i remember when he began transforming me like three years ago i changed the way i was thinking like the book of romans chapter 12 says do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind i even remember i did some Something like this where I wrote my one to ten year goals where I was writing things that I still want to achieve in the next one to ten year goals and I even remember like yesterday I saw this other thing that I want I'm like oh I really want this thing because the entire year I've been waiting for it I've been telling myself that I have to get it and then now it seems like the finances don't even balance but I was like oh okay but it's, it's still fine I know what has worked for me now in the past two years let me just continue with that same process so I wrote it down it's like it's like i wrote it here in my journal i told god that this is what i still want this is the date when i want to be buying it by i want to buy it by this particular date and these are the things that i still want to be doing things that i still want to be achieving so i wrote it i wrote it here and then guess what it says on the next page it says here it's written you are never alone god sees and he knows it's like it's just giving me that comfort and and it has like numbers 23 verse 19 it says god is not a man that he should lie and then when you close it here it says i know the plans i have for you so even if you're closing the page it does not mean that god is done with whatever that you were saying god is still busy processing it that is why it says i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future so these days like i am so transformed when i want something i don't say ah it's only reserved for the selected few in this world i tell myself that i serve the god who created us in this world the god who is rich in abundance who's got everything who has given us the brain who has given us the wisdom who is giving us the opportunities the reason that we are still alive and he wants us to be his ambassadors it means that it can still be done if he still wants us to be here on earth it means that he is not done with us and riches are from him riches and wealth are not a bad thing they are from this god so god is also still saying in your life you might have been like me who had given up on their hopes who had given up on their dreams but god is saying that it's like that dream is just buried somewhere deep in sand but it is not gone if you water it right it can still grow and bear great fruit in the name of jesus so god is also saying in your life it is not done yes you might have given up on your life and say that things are not working out what is the use of trying but god is saying that it is not over he is the god of resurrection he is the god who made the dry bones to come to life the dry bones to join together and come to life although they were already dry so god is also saying in your situation it is not too late and also don't forget here's my journal which is also on amazon i'll put the link on the description so this is a prophetic journal it's filled with the promises with the word of god as you write those plans as you right whatever is happening in your life god will see you through he won't let you down god does not want you to give up on your life god does not want you to be living an average life yes he still wants you to be after his heart to be serving him but as you are serving him he still wants us to be living like kings and queens as david was serving god david was after god's heart god had enriched enriched him in every way hallelujah yeah.